Hi, it's Aurelius. In this video, you're going to learn how to create a fillable PDF form for free. Take this registration form PDF as an example. With the tool that I'm about to show you, you're able to create a form just like this that's completely fillable by your clients, customers, or students, or what have you. So as you can see, I am putting in, filling in all the details in the fields and taking a look down below as well, you can create drop downs just like this and even check boxes too. And then once your customer, client or student fills out the form and submits it to you, you get the completed form just like how they completed it on their end. So let me show you exactly how to create your very own fillable PDF form for free. First things first, you'll need a software called Seda. Now there's no installation required, which is what makes it great. And the best part is it is free. I'll tell you the limitations later, but head to the description box below, go directly to Seda. I'm not affiliated or sponsored in any way, but I've stumbled upon this tool and I know many of you do want to create your own fillable forms. Once you're there, there's a button called Upload PDF. This is where you go ahead and start uploading your PDF. Let me first mention the limitation, all right? Your files stay private and there's no sharing, no saving of data, automatically deleted after two hours because there is no registration form. So it doesn't matter whether you register or not. It's a free service and you can upload up to a PDF of 200 pages or 50 megabytes. And there's three tasks per hour. Those are the only things you need to keep in mind. With that said, let's go ahead and create our fillable form. Before we go ahead and upload a PDF file that we want to turn into a fillable form, make sure you actually have that form designed. What I recommend is if you don't have one is create a Canva account and then create a new form using that. If you don't have a Canva account, look in the description box below. That'll take you to Canva where you can register for free. Now, when you create a design, there's a button called create a design. What you want to do is search for the size that you want. In most cases, it'll be like a letter size or an A4 size. I'm just going to choose A4, click on the first result. You've got this blank canvas and what you can do to shortcut your process is to search for form Look for an available template that you like. So for instance, if we look down below and you find something that looks appealing, let's say this one here, click once, that'll insert it. And from here, it's a matter of customizing the form based on the requirements that you need. I've edited mine. As you can see, it's a simple registration form with treatments and how did you hear about us? For this particular field, I didn't add anything because I do want to add a drop down menu. So I want to put in Facebook, Instagram, or Google as some of the options for them to choose. If you do want to make it look aesthetically pleasing, it is good to add these kind of rectangle boxes and field boxes so that it's not just left empty because Seda does uh, create those fillable forms, but it won't be a good designer in my opinion. So create those boxes, but it won't act as a fillable form just yet. Once you're done designing, all you need to do is click on share. Then we're going to click on download and from the menu, select PDF standard because we're not printing this. It's all digital and then click on download. Now head back to Seda. I'm pretty sure I pronounced that right. And then right here where you see upload PDF file, click once, look for your registration form that you downloaded. In my case, it's this one here. This is the completed one and I'll click on open. And then right away, you'll be taken to this Seda designer. I'm just going to show you from the top here what it looks like. We can edit things right away from here, but it will somewhat ruin the design of your PDF. So I would not go with that. As you can see, it just removes all those effects. Rather design it in Canva and then take it upload it into Seda. Once you're ready to fill in the boxes, what we can do is head to forms. Then we want to insert a text for things like name, email, and phone number. So we'll go ahead, click once. You'll see now on your mouse, there's no need to hold your mouse. Just click where you want to insert that. Once you've inserted that field box, you're given even more options. And here we can change the size of the field box. So if someone types their name, this is what it will look like, but it is rather big. So I will select 10 and there are some other options here with the text alignment to the center or right. And you've got the color as well. And we've got the field name and duplicating the field. So we don't have to do the same process again of going to forms. 
then to inserting it again. And while you're here, you can expand it or decrease the size as you wish. And it is important because if you are providing a box that is this wide, you wanna make sure it is as wide as that. Now, once you're ready to move on to the next part of your form, just click once on the previous one and click on duplicate because that is gonna just make a copy saving you time unless it is of course it's a different kind of field for instance we've got the address section in this case it's going to take more room so we'll go to forms and then click on text multi line click that once you'll see it is it has more rows and from here we'll just repeat the same similar steps as previously and customize it as we wish we do the same for the rest of the fields that we want to make editable. And right down the bottom, which says, how did you hear about us? I wanna make this a drop down menu. So from the form section, we will search for drop down list, insert it somewhere here. And now with the options, we can check the properties by going to field properties. We'll also type the options away. So we'll put in Instagram, then Facebook and Google, and I'll delete the rest. So now we're just left with three options. You can make it mandatory and allow multiple selections, but we'll just leave it as is. And this is what it looks like. Down the bottom, we wanna add checkboxes. You can also add radio buttons for choices and multiple choices sort of thing. And let's say this is for a spa treatment, right? And we wanna be able to offer our clients the uh, selections of multiple treatments like facial, massage, you know, what have you. So what we're gonna do is go into forms and then we're gonna choose checkbox and then insert it somewhere here, sizing it appropriately so that it actually fits in the box. That's why I recommend you design everything in Canva such as the actual box because right here is where it inserts the checkbox. By default, it has no design to it. You can, however, add things like borders, let's say a red border, things like that, but it does take that extra bit of time. So if you wanna design it, you might as well design it in Canva. So I'll just undo that and we'll just insert a plain checkbox. You'd simply duplicate each and every box so that all of them are fillable. In this case, the client can click on multiple checkboxes. I won't complete the rest of the form. I simply wanted to show you how you can go about actually adding those editable fields. But at the top, you can do other things like white out. So if you do wanna, let's say, cover a certain area, you can do so. And that is a way to edit your actual PDF document. You would match this with the same background color using this option here with the background of your PDF. And there are other options here like annotating on your PDF, adding shapes. We can also add images. So it is fundamentally two in one. You can edit your PDF here and also create fillable areas and fields. But once you're done with your PDF, all you need to do is click on apply changes, letter process. And now you can see a preview of your PDF. All you need to do is hit that download button. And now your fillable PDF is ready to go, as you can see. There are no watermarks, as you can see, which makes SADA the ideal tool to create your own fillable PDF form. All right, friends, and that's how to quickly and easily create fillable PDF forms. If this video helped, by all means, give this video a quick thumbs up and I'm looking forward to sharing the next training with you.